new Gran Turismo update is here. So starting with the brand three new cars that have been added into Gran Turismo 7. It's the Roaster Shop Rampage, Toyota Hybrid 21 and of course one vision car, a Suzuki Vision Gran Turismo. So you can purchase all of these cars in the Brand Central and I think they are quite an interesting feature in this new Gran Turismo update. Next off we got the online time trial that has just been added to the sport mode and now you can see the event detail screen and also the other information that has been added. So if you go into the top 10 superstar ranking now you can see it in the license center, mission and circuit experience. So wherever you're looking for your time, you can just go to global rankings and have a look at what's going on there. And you will be able to find a lot more than the previous top 10 times. So now you have like a very, very wide range of information right there. And you can literally scroll down as much as you want. Also, we got the new indicator showing the progress to the next driver rating. So you can see that in the menu of my page and A plus has been just blocked. I don't know, but the A plus is not working. So the bar is not filling up with the A plus, but also we got three new menu books. So the first one is lightweight K cup. The other one is mission Gran Turismo trophy and the last group one prototype series. But this is the, this is the most absurd thing that happened in this update and that's the adjustment of the force feedback strength for all of those wheels that have been listed down below going from the Thrustmaster T300 all the way down to Fanatec GT DD Pro and from my own personal experience when I just got into this I used 10 and 10 the wheel was so light and I just had to fix it somehow and I found this solution so changing it from PlayStation mode into this PlayStation 5 to PlayStation 4 compatibility mode. And I have to say, this is not a fix. We need an update. This is just a, a temporary thing to fix your settings. And I have to say, do not use the Fanatec GT DD Pro here. You need to use the CSL Elite one because the other one is not going to have mappable buttons. The buttons are not going to work there. So you just go down there. Fanatec CSL Elite racing wheel settings and I just added these two buttons I changed like on the L2 you can you need to look back and on the R2 it's just show and hide button so now I'm using a little bit of a different setup and I can actually put the force feedback down to 8 which is still not up high considering we had I had this one at 4 so I was quite surprised that they had to change this uh, force feedback so much so I'm using the force torque and the max torque right there at 8 and I'm using the sensitivity at 10 and also these are my settings you can just copy them I think for majority of the people they will be okay but I think you should really focus on getting your own settings and you know setting up the way you like it but I really hope this guide helps so guys please tell me in the comments down there if this guide helped you if you're just happy with the update how would you actually rate this update my ranking would be approximately like 5 out of 10. We get a couple of good features, but they completely ruined the strength of the force feedback. But in the end, I got it to P12 in the world doing this. So I think I kind of got used to the force feedback, I guess. So once again, thank you very much for watching my video. And yeah, let me know what you think. Bye.